Hi guys, so in this video, we are going to work on the Favicon for Udo 17 or 18. This code will work for both of the versions. So uh, lately I've been struggling to change the Favicon of uh, this Udo instance. So what I have done, I have added a new field here named app favicon which will be used to display the fav icon in all of the tabs you know so you can see i can change the tabs and this fav icon will work for all of the tabs so let's jump into the code and see how we can add this field and get the fav icon from this specific field from the company now i have added this field in the company but you can add it anywhere else in Odoo so let me show you how you can do it so here as you can see that I have added a field custom app fab icon and I have also added this field in the company view so that it gets displayed in the company view now uh, while doing R&D for this specific feature I found that here in web client templates which you can find inside the web module here they are using this thing to display the fav icon this one now they are getting it from the, a controller so we basically have to add a controller that overrides this one to get our own fav icon so let's go on and try to create our own controller so i have already added a directory named controllers so i'll just add a new one named main extension should be correct so in the controller what we are going to do we are going to just override the specific root which they are using this one and we are just going to return this specific type of image and we are just going to take it from the company now before that i want to create an attachment whenever this field is added in the company so that we don't have to access the company we can just take it from the attachment every time we need it so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to for now i'm just going to add a write method you can override create method also so let's continue and call the super dot write so here i'm going to check if this specific field is there in the values which means that this field is added or updated then i'm going to create a new attachment so we are going to just create a new record in ir attachment because we need to convert this into this specific format so that it gets displayed correctly so before creating this we have to search it if it is already there if not then we can create but if it is there we can just simply delete this specific field so we can search it using the rest model which in our case will be company then we can search using the field name which in our case will be custom app fav icon and you can also specify the id which we can put this self dot id to specify if you are going to use more than one company since i am using working on only one company so i'll just put zero now if we find this we have to first delete it and then we just have to create the same thing for the newer one so we'll be having the same fields like we can put some name like fav icon then we can put press model these things are required which will be the same company then we have res field which will be the same custom app fav icon then we have the res id which will be zero in my case but if you are using more than one company you can just pass the company id the specific record id here and once we are going to take it in the controller you can just pass that specific con company and use the fav icon for the specific company then we have to specify the mime type which in this case should be this one because the layout web layout is expecting this specific input 
and lastly we have to add the datas which will be from this specific field so we can just write self dot custom fab icon and lastly we'll just going to return the super so what i'm doing here is i just added a field now once a user adds some specific image in this one I'm taking it and converting it into an attachment so that we can just get this attachment in our controller which we are just going to uh, write over here so let's add the controller for that we have to first import HTTP and we have to import from HTTP we have to import request and response now let's add a new controller. I'm going to name it as custom fab icon controller. So we have added our own controller and now we are going to specify the root which in this case should be this one because this specific layout web layout is expecting this specific root. Now here I'll just add I'll just change it to app fab icon and type http and auth public. So inside this, now again we are going to search for the same attachment. I'm just going to store it in a variable. So I'm going to search it with this and this will be the field and again if you are using different companies you can just take your company from request and pass the company id here but in my case i am just using one company for a demo so i'll be using this one only so you can just pass limit one also here now if we find attachment and attachment actually has the data we can just create image here now which will be the one they are expecting actually now we have to convert it into the icon now for this we need to use the library called s 64 so here we have to actually decode the attachment or data so that we can just get the binary back and we are going to return here response in the response we are going to return the image data we need to return the content type which in our case will be this one the headers and in the headers we are going to just add some important things which are basically related to the cache so if we don't find this attachment then we have to redirect it to the original route which is this one so that it doesn't get break so going to return request dot redirect and now in this we are just going to pass the original one which is this one and code is 301 so this is basically the default behavior you can say so in, in case we don't find our attachment we are just going to redirect it to the default one now this part is complete next thing we have to work on is replacing the actual controller the actual route with our route so i am going to first add it into the init file so we don't forget it and need to add the controllers here that's fine and now we need to add a new file to inherit this specific web layout i'm just going to read i'm just going to name it as web layout.xml all right so here just going to tags going to add a new template uh, we'll be naming it as custom fab icon web layout and we have to inherit this one web dot layout now i'm just going to replace the existing this one with my own custom so i'm just going to use the link so we are going to use this link and it has this one I'm just going to use it as an identifier so basically we are going to just put for this this one so i am going to just set this specific thing x icon because it is saying either it has to take x icon if available otherwise it will go to this specific 
root so before this i am just setting this x icon so that if it finds x icon it will be rendering this x icon so i have already set this specific field to our own custom controller and now in the custom controller we have already added our attachment so it will be returning this if it finds our attachment otherwise it will be returning back to the default fav icon which is auto default so let's restart and activate our module and i can see in the log that we have made some mistake in controller we don't have self so uh, any environment from the self so we have to use the request object to get the correct environment so let's restart it and refresh this again so as you can see now for now the default udo fav icon is coming so we have a field over here and i'm just going to give this one which i just downloaded it's udo app fav icon i just save it now we have to clear the cache for it to work properly it's going to so now you can see that our custom fav icon is coming over here and you can go to any module it will just keep on displaying that specific fav icon so this is how you can use the controller to override the specific fav icon what we have done is we have added a new field in company we are creating an attachment again you can pass any company id as an res id so that you can get a specific attachment for your specific company and then we get this attachment in the controller and what we are doing is we are making our own custom controller with the name app fav icon with the route app fav icon and if we get the attachment we just use our image otherwise we redirect it to the default and in the view we are just putting this x icon because you can see it is a conditional attribute which says that either if it finds x icon it will use x icon otherwise it will redirect to the default fav icon now in this specific template we don't find x icon to be set anywhere so what i have done simply i have set this x icon here before this line by using the x path here and its value is set to this controller which is our custom controller and which will obviously return our custom image if available so this is how you can simply update the fav icon in odoo if you like the video please make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon for more videos in the future. Thank you.